everybody's question is, Mike, what's wrong with me saying I'm going to hit that, I'm going to tap that, or we're going to smash? And this is one that teens are starting to get pushback on, so they're asking the question. This question of, why can't I say hit that? Why can't I say tap that? What's wrong with me describing sex as smashing, or I'm, we're going to smash? What's wrong with this language? Let's get into this right away. Now, I already see a few people's eyes out there going, what was that last one? Did you just say smash? And that's not new, by the way. A smash has been a phrase used to replace the word sex for the last few years, actually, in high schools. And it's commonly used, by the way. I mean, used throughout this country, the United States, for sure, very frequently. So let's look at each of these. First of all, the smash one. This idea, this violent smashing together uh, as, a, as a way of describing sex. Obviously, smash sounds violent. You wouldn't say, hey, let's name, use a word that describes passion and say smash. That's the danger with all this language, and that's what I want to address today. There's a difference in describing being passionate with each other and describing violence. Huge difference, right? Smashing something is violent. It's violent. The idea that I'm going to smash something, whether a hammer or something else, it's violent. The idea that you're going to hit that is violent. The idea that I'm going to tap that. Now, that one, some people go, well, that doesn't sound as violent. No, but it also doesn't make sense. They even say, like, just if I'm with college students or military and people bring up, oh, tap that, I'll be like, hey, tap that. If you tap it, it ain't going to do anything. And people start to die and laugh because they visualize it. They're like, it is a stupid phrase. Tap that. Here's the problem with it, though. Tap that or hit that. Hit is blatantly violent. No doubt about it. But notice both of them depend on the second word being that. Hit that. Tap that. Why is that an issue? Because it implies there's not a human being there. It's like it's an object. And it's also always started with, I'm going to tap that. I'm going to hit that. Which means it's about you and this object. And in real life, that's a person. That's a person that you've completely objectified by calling it that. And in fact, if you put a name there instead of that, it would be so obvious how, how ridiculous, how dumb, and how illogical the statement is. Ready? I'm going to hit Jordan. Oh my gosh. If you say that to somebody, they're going to think it sounds awful because that's violence on another human being. Or even if you said, I'm going to tap Jordan. You'd be like, what? Right? When you put a real person's name there, it's obvious how ridiculous the statement is. So do not call that because that's an objectification of a person, right? And that's what we have to remove away, the objectification, remove away the violence. You can still be passionate in your words. There's a lot of words you can use that are passionate and not based in violence, right? And that's what we're talking about here. Remove the violent language. And if you want to be passionate, find words that are passionate, right? And show that passionate in your conversation, that's way better than violence and use of violent words. That's today's question.